no plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending. We got no plans. This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. All right. You've probably heard mentions of the LIBOR banking scandal, unless you're in America where coverage of the LIBOR scandal has been preempted for coverage of Tom Cat's divorce. See, we combined the name Tom Cruise with the name Katie Holmes and made the word Tomcat. That's a thing, right? This banking scandal sounds complicated, which is good for scandals if you're one of the gutless d is trying to get away with them. LIBOR sounds like the name of an alien villain in the fifth element, but this obscene scandal is less confusing than it sounds. LIBOR stands for London Interbank Offering Rate. It's a key lending rate calculated every day by asking the big banks what rate they're using to loan money to each other. That rate affects hundreds of trillions of dollars of consumer lending, everything from mortgages to student loans to the price of a prostate exam done for business or pleasure. That rate affects tons of Kinda like the size of an inch or a meter affects measurements across the world. Or the way science affects Christians even when they say they don't believe in it. You can say you don't care about LIBOR, but it's still f***ing up your mortgage. And it turns out that LIBOR has a fatal flaw in it. It requires that we trust the big banks. Wait, what? So you see, the agency calls up the big banks and says, what are your rates? And the banks are expected to tell the truth. Are you f***ing nuts? And it turns out they have not been telling the truth. This is not another small example of fraud in our economic system. This is another piece of proof that our current form of unfettered punch-your-neighbor-in-the-balls capitalism is founded on lies, bull****, euphemisms, and cronyism, and bull****, does not make for a sturdy foundation for an economic system. You ever stood on a pile of It's very slippery! Each time our system arrests and imprisons a billionaire fraudster like Madoff or Stanford, they are basically catching a termite rather than breaking open the nest of millions of termites which are devouring the entire house. This LIBOR scandal is a look into the nest. Thousands of termites eating their way through the entire house, not giving a that the house will inevitably collapse because they figure by the time it does they'll be living on a chocolate-covered, gold-plated island in the Mediterranean. I'm feeling kind of empty about that last analogy. I, 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 don't, I don't feel like it does it justice. Termites is too kind for this sack of blood-sucking, bank-robbing, loan-rigging blisters. They are flesh-eating bacteria who make life-sucking diarrhea look like a good thing. They make billions of dollars, but they are utterly morally bankrupt. And the only way this system could ever work is if they are trusted as much as a bull in a china shop or a priest in an orphanage or a guy with a foot fetish in a shoe store or the human torch at a gas station. They have shown again and again and again how little we can trust them. The only question now is when exactly we'll get tired enough of it to tell them to go f*** themselves. That's your Moment of Clarity, coming to you today from Los Angeles. Check out the Moment of Clarity podcast for free. You can listen at LeeCamp.net, iTunes, Stitcher, and the Android app. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.